Welcome back inside of Royal LePage Place here in West Kelowna. Trevor Miller here with you. Uh, just a fantastic afternoon here in West Kelowna. The Warriors winning 7-3, the final score over the Vernon Vipers here this afternoon. Uh, the Warriors picking up their seventh consecutive win and win number 17. Lots of sevens going on uh, here this afternoon. Uh, to get a look at things, let's take a look at the highlights from this afternoon and how things look from Royal LePage Place. Started off with a good flurry of chances and Jack Prinham, two minutes into the hockey game, off the bench, strips the puck away from the Viper and is able to make his way back in on the uh, right wing side, pushed his way to the front of the goal and able to beat the goaltender Colin Ray on the glove or on the blocker side. Goal for Prinham, uh, picking up his ninth of the season and able to give the Warriors a one nothing lead. Prinham's ninth. Unassisted at 2.06, gave the Warriors a 1-0 lead before West Kelowna uh, back at it for more and a chance for Isaiah Norland on the power play. Long shot from the blue line, able to push it past Colin Ray into the back of the net. Norland gets the marker and the Warriors out to a 2-0 lead on the goal by Isaiah Norland. Uh, that makes it a 2-0 hockey game in favor of uh, West Kelowna. On the power play goal and the shot from the blue line, Felix Corona, Michael Salandra drawing the assist on the goal at 6.24. That gives the Warriors a 2-0 lead at that point. They're back from Oregon after that. Michael Salandra with his eighth of the year at 15:47, walking in from the right circle. Just such a nice little move. Salandra's got such nice hands. Moves from his forehand to his backhand up and over the glove side of Colin Ray. That gave the Warriors a 3-0 lead before they camped off a four-goal opening period with Johannes Lockberg, a little tip play through the neutral zone. Vigo Nordstrom finding Jackson. Kier Costas at the front of the net. And Kirkostas able to bury it past the glove side of Colin Ray. Kirkostas gets the goal. He picks up his 11th of the season. Time of the goal for Kirkostas is 19.08 from Nordstrom and Lockberg. That made it a, a 3 to nothing hockey game, or a 4 nothing game in favor of the Warriors. The Vipers did come back and got the game within uh, a reachable margin as a shot from the left side by Eric Pastro through traffic finds. Uh, it's way past Rourke Appleby. At 3.05, Pastro's 11th from Anthony Klisch. That made the game 4-1, and the Vipers came back and were able to make it a 4-2 game moments later. Anthony Klisch from the left wing point, able to send a pass across to the right side in a one-time drive by the uh, forward and, and Adam Chubby, and Chubby able to blast a pass the glove side of the goaltender in the way of uh, Rorick Appleby. So Chubby from Anthony Klish and Nick Mikan at 10.45 the second period. That made it 4-2 before a three-goal third period by the Warriors, kick-started by Felix Caron. Caron at 153 gets the marker and a giveaway by the Vipers. Elliot Compton fed it along for Felix Caron, and Caron with uh, tying for the league lead with his 16th goal of the season. That gave the Warriors at that point a lead of uh, that was six to three or a five to three lead or five two lead at that point before the Vipers came back eight seconds into a power play. It's Nick Mikan who picks up the goal. Mikan getting the opportunity on the man advantage three minutes into the third period from Isaac Trombley and Adam Chubby on a puck that just found him at the front of the net, able to bury it past the glove side of Appleby. But the Warriors four minutes and twenty three seconds later. Get a nice play and, ca and caught the Vipers a bit with a bit of frustration. Uh, Anthony Kliss tried to make a big hit down low. Couldn't make that hit. Lyndon Barrett blew a tire on the left side. That allowed Jackson Kierkostas to cut and make a nice move to the slot and wait and shoot past the blocker side of Colin Ray. 7.23 the time of the goal. Kierkostas is 12th from Lockburg and Nordstrom. Gave the Warriors a 6-3 lead before Kierkostas. Finished off his hat trick with one minute to go in the game. Got the puck in the slot. Had lots of time, lots of opportunity to shoot, and picked his spot and buried past the blocker side of Ray. Goal for Kirkostas, 13th of the year from Lockburg. One minute remaining in the game. That gave the Warriors a 7-3 win, and that is how we stand with the team coming off. Congratulating Rourke Appleby, who picks up his seventh consecutive victory. The team picks up their seventh consecutive victory victory uh, and the Warriors win it here this afternoon by a score of seven to three and uh, quite the offensive showing uh, for the Warriors here this afternoon and not just this afternoon